Welcome back to my bathroom and welcome to episode 30 of Is It Today it's a spirit Halloween haul. We're gonna try all this really overpriced spooky stuff together and rate it one through 10. Before we start, do your tithing. Subscribe, like, click the bells, buttons, whistles. It helps me to continue to make these really high quality videos here in this bathroom. Also, if you see any of these costumes you like, they'll be for sale on my website for $10 free shipping. I know we're used to doing the dollar free shipping, but most of these are really large, so that $10 will help me pay for the shipping. Because that does get pricey when some of y'all are living in Washington, California, Arizona. Yeah, they'll be up whenever I can get them up. Have you heard that before, ladies? It'll be up when I can get it up. <laughs> Cheers. First up, this one right here. This will save your marriage. This is sexy. This is a Western cutie. Western cutie. $50 for this one. Honestly, way overpriced. Comes with this jumpsuit. What is this? Shorts, romper, long sleeve, pearl snap buttons. The devil is in the details. You get a black bandana with this and you get a gypsy chain. Oh, it's already broken. It's already broken. Dang, is that real turquoise? No, but it looks gorgeous as heck. I don't even really know what size I am, but definitely not a small. This thing is tight. And for that reason, I cannot show you the back. I couldn't zip the back up. Also, the shorts are really short. Remember the Amish way? More is less. Oh, almost forgot. The cowboy hat, cowgirl. This little gem was $18. Cow print. You can't tell me when I'm wearing cow print. You just can't go wrong. It's a redneck cheetah print. That's how you know somebody's ready to get busy. Oh, made in China. That's how you know it's good. 10 out of 10 for that. I also picked up this Western bandana. This was $10. It's a bandana with the fringe. I think this one's great. I mean, the price is not great. They should really work on that because honestly, I saw most of this junk on Timu. I really did. They just changed the packaging to say spirit. Um, I'd give this one a six. Someone's gonna have fun in that. Let me know, or don't. These are ghost earrings. $6 for this little cheesecloth with buttons, eyeballs. Oh, wow. Those don't look like a wad of toilet paper at all. These are a 10, would recommend. This is a box of wine. $40 for this. Whoa, he's got a look to him. Doesn't this man kind of look like Harry Potter? Heavy duty. It reads, the world's cheapest wine, sour grapes, Sauvignon Blanche. Sauvignon. What? Five liters. Disappointment in every sip. Yeah. Okay. It has the spout here conveniently located at your crotch. It doesn't work, but it'd be really cool if you could put box wine and kind of funnel it in here and make that work. Any engineers out there want to tackle that? Does kind of give off fraternity party vibes. Yeah, I could see that. I could see a fraternity bro. You want to suck some wine? Uh, the answer is no. If it was root beer, maybe. Don't drink wine from a fraternity bro. Kelta Delta baby pie. All right, I wouldn't do that. This is a solid six as well. Props to the Spirit Halloween though, because they had some scary stuff. I was the scariest thing in there. They had those animatronics, whatever, the $500 things, which y'all gotta see. This lady in my neighborhood, let me show you this. That's like 20 grand sitting in your yard. She's brave. Anyway, she's got a lot of those from the Spirit Halloween. They've got a lot of those. They've got a lot of blankets for some reason, which is cool. And they have a lot of these foam costumes, matching ones, peanut butter and jelly, coffee and creamer, dicks and tricks, I forgot. But they have a lot of these matching ones. If, you, if you're into that, matching with some, are you doing that? But they're all this foam, very non-functional material. This is the Beetlejuice costume. $60 for this one. You get the jacket with the beautiful details. Also, you could reuse this if your kids do that tater tot football, basketball, and you're the referee. Two uses for this, baby. The referee pants, straight legs. Oh, wow. Bow tie and two pins. Accessories for your accessories. You shouldn't have. I got this in a size small and it was also a little tight. The pants were too tight. Would have sized up. I wanted a wig that looked really similar to this ladies, which actually my real hair looks just like this. All fried and frizzled. This is a lace front. I'll link it below. So anyway, I couldn't find a wig like that, but I did find this. This is called an undead guy. Okay. $20 for this synthetic piece of work. Smells like ass baloney. With some work, I think this, this can be something. Just close your eyes. Ray Charles would think it looks nice. The wig, I'd actually give a Nate. I mean, I don't think it's $20. I don't think any of this stuff is worth the price that they're asking for it, to be honest. Are you paying for the fun experience? I don't know. 
I just really think they took inflation to the next level at Spirit Halloween. They're doing that same shit that Burger King's doing. Whatever. I don't think it's a $20 wig. It's looking more like a five below wig. For the Beetlejuice outfit, I'd give the Beetlejuice outfit a solid seven. Oh, they had some shirts. Look at this. $21 for this gym. Kitty's first sacrificial offering. Isn't that beautiful? This is fantastic. It fits true to size. I'm wearing a size small in this one. It's that nice, what is that? It's not painted or vinyl. It's, well, it's whatever that is. And I think that's nice. Solid 10. This is the same one that we bought on Timu. Remember this one, Easy Bake Coven? They're worshiping the oven with the pentagram, pentacle. Be politically correct. With their witchcraft, they had this exact one on Timu. It was $7, I believe. But the printing was more of a shiny sticker vinyl. This is whatever that is. This one's an extra small. It was also $21 and I'd give it a 10. Also, one thing I noticed that they had a lot of was their branded pajamas and shirts, Spirit Halloween. So if you're into that kind of thing, if you want to do some free advertising for Spirit Halloween, go get you some jammies. They had some for the whole family. Well, everybody but my neighbors. They didn't have my neighbor size. Do we have any Barbie fans? They had a lot of Barbie outfits, I guess, in the movie. Haven't seen it. Barbie was a bunch of different things. Barbie was going through a bunch of identity crisis is same so this is her I'm gonna skate crisis this one was $50 but it is an actual branded Barbie one this is the romper has the sparkle details this thing is way too thin ladies there's no protection if you decide to jump on a trampoline and pee on yourself what if you get frightened put your granny panties on so they can't see the camel toe can I say that on here so they can't see the lady parts is that okay is that okay for you I'm talking to the robot that checks my videos because they don't like a lot of things that I have to say. So is this gonna work for you? It's good with me, if it's good for you. So we've got the romper. You get the visor with the little Barbie logo. Oh, wow! These look just like the earrings that we did for the Amazon costumes. So you get the acrylic earrings. Oh my, whoo! They have outdone themselves. This is a fanny pack. Kinda looks like a banana hammock, but it's great. And dang, is that neon. That look great. At the bowling alley I go to, after six, they turn off the lights and put the black light on. I always have to check my pants. Like, is there anything on my pants? There's not gonna be anything on my pants. But maybe there is. That would look great for glow-in-the-dark bowling. Bowling! Also comes with the elbow pads and the knee pads, ladies. You're in need of those. Avoid carpet burn at all costs. I would actually give this costume a two. It didn't fit $50 well. But I do like that it came with all the accessories because I have noticed that a lot of these costumes only come with half of the stuff you need, so you have to buy the other half. You're $200 deep just to get a costume. Some kids will never understand just being a ghost for Halloween. You ever been a ghost before? That's how you know you're poor. When your mom puts a sheet on you and cuts the eyes. One year, my mother gave me a sheet that had a print on it. It had some pink flowers and shit. What kind of ghost is this? What kind of ghost is this? That's called the we're poor ghost. And you know what? That was okay because I had fun. I had a lot of fun and I didn't need all this shit. But here we are with all this shit. This one's just not for me, but I do like the concept. Oh, skating Barbie, you're supposed to wear roller skates. Treat yourself, get a pair of roller skates and see how that goes. See how that works out for you. Skate on over to this sour grapes. You want some wine? No. We can talk about this now. This is the Chucky sweater. It says good guys on it. It does have a lot of holes in it already. I actually really like it because it's something I can wear again. It's not just costumey. It's $40 and it comes with, can't show you this one, but it comes with a weapon. Comes with a weapon. I'm gonna give this sweater a 10. I'm gonna wear this for Christmas. I enjoy it. It is making me have a hot flash though. This is a sequin spider poncho. One size fits most, $25 and you just get the poncho. Look at the detail. It's actually really nice. It's got a mesh layer and another layer. You just slip it on, ladies. I actually really like this. It's super simple and you could wear it again. You could wear this to church or something. I'm gonna give the poncho a 10. To jazz it up, I got some accessories. These tights were $10, spider web pattern to match the poncho. $8 for these earrings. Oh, dang. These are super heavy. That's gonna give you saggy earlobe syndrome. And here's the gloves. $7 for these. They're also spider webs. They're not form fitting to the, to the hand, to the fingers. Hell, I'd give it a five. Got a couple things from the Adams Family collection. First up, we have Cousin It. $30 gets you the hat with the attached wig and it's long. 
and the sunglasses. As much as I want to love this, I can't. The hat is way too small. Or maybe my head's too big. It's too tight. The hair needs to be sprayed with dry shampoo so it doesn't look shiny. Having hair in front of your face, it's not very comfortable, nor is it functional. But if you're a little shy and you wanted to dress up for Halloween, this is it. Definitely doesn't look like the photo. This one's all thick and beautiful. And when you put the shades on, how the hell are you going to see when it's dark outside? With the shades on, we're definitely not seeing. I think this is fun if you're going to dress up a decoration outside or something. I don't know. But to wear to a party, I wouldn't. I would give this a solid one. This is Morticia Adams. $40 and it comes with the dress. That's a nice velvet material. It's actually really sexy. Has the flowy arms, the little thumb hole thing, so your wings stay on. And you get this ruby necklace. Beautiful, that has the M inside. You are gonna need a black wig for this. They had a huge wig section there. I loved the dress. It is a nice fitting dress. Would look better if you had button plants. The material is really thick, polyester blend. It's a V cut, but doesn't show too much cleavage unless you like tape them up there. You know how some people do that? Tape their breasts. Are you kidding me? You cannot pay me to put duct tape on these bags. But if you wanted to duct tape your puppies on up there, duct tape away, sister. The Mortish Morticia for Morticia. I'm gonna give this a nine. I really enjoyed this. It would be kind of cool to do the two together, Morticia, Morticia, and cousin it. If you have a boyfriend or girlfriend or, or if you're in a throuple, you can do two Morticias, one cousin it. This is Groovy Girl. $50 for this one. Comes with the dress which is pretty sexy also, has the cutout shoulders, the fringe, two pins, super high quality headband. So the sunglasses are not included. Why is she wearing sunglasses then? I liked this one. It was a little too short for my personal taste. The top was weird. It didn't cover the whole breast area. Could possibly be because my bags are too big for my body. Wouldn't recommend, ladies. If you're gonna get some bags, size down, my back hurts. I'm thinking about getting them to, I think, I am thinking about getting them removed. It's not because my back hurts that bad. It's just, can that be good for my body to have plastic in there? This does not cover my back. So it made me feel a little, what's the word? Insecure. But I did like it. Well, I didn't like the arm thing. Can that just not be attached? What's wrong with that? But it was comfortable. The material's not scratchy or anything. It actually looks nice, especially from far away. It's a solid eight. In the pet costume aisle, this is Ghostface. Comes with the jacket and the miniature mask. Moose is wearing a size medium and it fits true to size. This was $24, solid 10. We have again Ghostface, the scream mask, in rhinestones. With the cowboy hat, you're gonna win first place in that costume contest. Very easy costume, put on black. There will be no drinking in this costume. You wanna chug some wine? 20 out of 10 for this. We have Napoleon Dynamite. $35 will get you the shirt. We're in a small here. Vote for Pedro. The wig looks like this. And honestly, this thing needs some fine tuning. Fine, fine tuning. It looks like hell right now. And you also get the readers. So you don't get the jeans and the boots. I feel like you could put that together yourself a little bit cheaper. So for that, I'm gonna give it a five. The wig is awful. Look at the gaps in there. Target actually had a good selection of wigs. That's where I got the black wig that I wore a couple videos back. I'm not even sure why I was wearing a black wig. I don't know. That wig was from Target. And you take out your front hair and spray paint it with that, this. It washes out, but it makes a damn mess. All right, stop clapping at people. Nobody likes that. All right, that wraps up our spirit Halloween haul. To end this very high quality program with some words of wisdom. The theme of this week is going to be pressing on. Last week I told you I have a new sister on my DNA website, 23andMe, Ancestor, whatever, okay. I spent a week being really excited about the possibilities of what me and my sister are gonna do. I was fantasizing about bowling together, planting plants and stuff, pretty much doing all the things I like to do and not even taking in consideration what she might like to do and all this is going on in my mind, okay? It's real psychotic. Anyway, I wasted a lot of time because she didn't reply. So the theme of this week is to press on because I caught myself being a little bit sad about that. Like, oh shit, we're not gonna go bowling. The mosquito. Anyway, 
what was I saying? So I caught myself being sad about that. And then I was trying to justify why she wouldn't respond. Maybe she didn't like my profile picture. Maybe she doesn't have time for another damn sister. Maybe she doesn't want a sister. I'm battling the battle between myself. And finally, I had my coming to Jesus moment. If it's meant to be, it will find a way. My mom always says this, you can't fit a square peg in a round hole or you can't fit a round peg in a square hole. Some shit like that. Pretty much, you just can't force things. If things are meant to be, they're gonna find a way, some universal way to be. If they're not, sometimes they're just not. Maybe it's just not meant for me to know my sister, my DNA, 23andMe, relative sister. But if we do meet, you best believe I'm gonna apply to be on the commercial, 23andMe. So we gotta press on. You can visit being sad, but you can't live in sadness. So we're gonna press on this week. If you've got something that's bothering you, power through, power through. We can't be all sad and stuff, right? Because what's that gonna do? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what it's gonna do. It's not gonna do shit. It's not gonna do shit. So we're gonna press on, right? Um, next week, I'm gonna see you here in this bathroom Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. We're not gonna do anything Halloween related because honestly, that's enough. That's enough of this. So until then, I hope you have a fantastic week because don't forget, you do deserve that. And I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool. So when you on, chopped your nuts off. Go Rosie O'Donnell on them. Isn't she a lesbian? It's massive. I'm not gonna do that. Why did you do that with your hands? I don't know. They were sniffing the wine. Endless root beer floats. BF word. The robot's watching ya. Some of y'all have 2020 vision out there. Mm -hmm.